So my name is Zach. I help non-technical people bring their software ideas to life. And I do that through vibe coding. So I don't know how to code and I'm building cool software and I've always wanted to do this and it's finally possible with vibe coding and now I'm going to teach you exactly how to do what I'm doing. There's an exciting new update with Bolt, one of my favorite IDEs, internal development environments, and they have something called Bolt Cloud. So really quick, this is exciting because they didn't have this before, but you can host with custom domains. So today I'm going to show you how to connect a custom domain to your Bolt project uh, it's really simple, but uh, sometimes it can get tricky, so I'll make it really simple for you guys to understand. But they're doing other things. It's coming. It's in beta, but databases, authentication, secure payments, analytics, file storage, functions. Like This is epic. This is everything you need to run a successful online SaaS company or app, and it's all going to be fully integrated into Bolt here soon. So... Uh, that's really exciting because uh, in the past you had to go through Netlify, you had to go through Superbase, you had to do all these extra things and they're trying to simplify it for us. So I love it. All right. Let's say you created a project in Bolt and you finished it. Here's one that I had completed a little while ago and I want to connect it to a domain. Maybe it's a website, maybe it's a SaaS and I want a professional domain so I can send it and that kind of thing. So first what you want to do is hit publish at the top right. If it's not published yet, hit publish. So give it a second. It's going to Go ahead and publish it and host it. Uh, and then it's gonna come up with some like random web link that maybe doesn't look so pretty. And what we're gonna do is connect it to a domain. I'm personally using GoDaddy uh, to buy and purchase domains. You can use pretty much anything, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with GoDaddy because that's the most common one. That's one you see uh, pretty often uh, people using. So that's the one I'm gonna use. Cool, it looks like they hosted it here. And now that it's hosted, it looks like this link. So if I click this link, it'll open up and it's hosted. But it's again, it's not a pretty domain. I want my personal custom domain, right? So then here, this is new. Before you had to go to Netlify, now you just click custom domain. You can buy a domain from GoDaddy. If you click that, you can actually search and buy a domain or you can add your own. So if you already got one, and you didn't want to go through Bolt, you wanted to connect it through something else, you would do it here. So I'm going to put a custom domain. Um, it's got to be one that's actually registered. So let's see if this works. See, it's registered. And then I hit add domain. Now it's going to add it. There it goes. And it's going to say something like this, like it's added, but it's not functional yet. So what you need to do is click resolve DN, uh, DNS issues and basically copy paste this information into your DNS. So for the domain without the WW and the domain with the WW, you're gonna do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I did it with a different domain already, but basically what you're gonna do is hit Resolve DNS issues and where it says C name, your name and value. You're just going to open up, let's say GoDaddy, you log in, click your name, go to my products, scroll down to whatever your, your domain is, select your domain and then uh, click DNS. So you go to DNS management on GoDaddy and you'll hit add new record, C name. And then here you'll click copy. Paste it, go here, click the value. It'll look something like this. Paste it, do half hour and hit save. Now I'm not gonna do it because I'm not trying to connect it here, but that's what you would do, okay? And you would do it on the domain that you just wanna connect here. Cool, so then you do, you've done that and then you'll go to the, uh, the domain without the www, hit resolve. And you'll do the same thing with GoDaddy. You have to do it with the A record. It didn't work for alias for me. So I did the A record. So again, I came back to my DNS, hit add record, click A. Go ahead and copy this, paste it in name and go ahead and copy 
the value, paste it the value, do half hour, hit save. And that's basically it. Now it takes about 30 minutes to an hour, sometimes longer, depending on your domain host, uh, for it to actually go live. Uh, I wanna show you what it looks like when it goes actually goes live here so you, you can see the difference. So I'm gonna go to another one of my projects that I have a live uh, domain connected to it. This is another one of my projects. So this project is, uh, I, I own a AI automation agency, so I want to create a AI audit where a business can go in, answer some business questions, and it'll give them some recommended AI automations. And if you guys want to see what this website looks like, it'll be in the description below. But this is already published. See, it says it's up here, already published, and I can manage it. And if I need to update it, I can just hit update. But if I hit manage, this is how you know it's live. If you got the green shields, that's how you know it's been connected, it's live, and everything is golden. I also enabled the SEO boost. So not exactly sure what that does, but hopefully it works and it'll make me show up on Google more. Uh, so yeah, the analytics database, all this extra stuff is beta for right now, but should be live soon. So I'm excited for all that. Uh, and then see, now I'm on my purchase domain, ai-audit.biz and uh, it's live. My website's live. Live. I started this this morning, built it in one day, and then connected it to the domain. And it took about thirty minutes to an hour. No, it was live. Insane what you can do with vibe coding, with uh, all this technology with Bolt uh, nowadays. Uh, very exciting. If you don't already follow me, like, subscribe. I'm posting tons of vibe coding content. I'm giving away all my secrets. I'm not gatekeeping. I want people to learn this stuff. Uh, so go in the description below, uh, check out some links and uh, yeah, cheers.